Impress your guests with their names written in calligraphy in acrylic paint. Are you excited? I'm going to show you how to create them in this video. Hi! If you are new to the Join Hands channel, thanks for stopping by. I love showing you how to create handmade items that bring joy from your hands to your heart. This is the last of a three-part series on using different ways to create calligraphy on tile. My previous videos, which I'll link here, are on using a pen marker, that's the easiest way, or using a gold liquid leaf. If you are interested in tutorials just like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. We have to start with the preparation in choosing our tiles, but I covered that in the first part and I'll link that video here. Let's get started on today's video. If I need coloured inks, I will use either acrylic or gouache. So let's say I need to use yellow. So I will take either the yellow acrylic ink and it's okay to buy a whole set for me because I feel acrylic inks are quite cost effective. On the other hand, gouache. I do find that um, this particular bench maker is pretty expensive in Singapore. It costs, I think, about 13 Singapore dollars. And I did try um, more generic brands before, but I do find that the quality of the pigment is not so good. And the gouache just doesn't look as opaque on a dark background as much as the schminker uh, does. So what I do to reduce cost, because I already have a lot of pigments, if I need yellow, for example, I will mix um, the white with this yellow oxide pigment powder with titanium dioxide to get a bright yellow and also some water. So when do you use gouache and when do you use acrylic? If you're using acrylic, when your ink is dry, it is going to be waterproof. For gouache, however, your ink is not going to be waterproof and it's easily removable with water. So it depends on what you need. Waterproof, go with acrylic. If you don't need it to be waterproof and you want it to be easily removed after the event so that you can reuse your tile or your gate or whatever items that you put your calligraphy on, then I'll suggest you to go with gouache. You might notice in many of my videos that I like to use whites, metallics like gold and silver. What if you have an event and it has a specific color theme? So if you have a particular color that you need to use, you can use acrylic. So for this particular project, I am actually using acrylic on this particular tile. So what I have done here is to have my, my white and my blue and I put it into this particular container just to test out the color and I'll show you how it looks like. If you find that your acrylic ink is too thick and it's difficult to write with, take a dropper, put it into a container of water and just try it out a few drops at a time. I'm just going to start with one. Mix it with your brush to see whether it's a consistency that you like. And you can keep testing. Okay, let's write with the ink. Okay, we're going to start writing our calligraphy using acrylic paint. So what you need to prepare is your brush, your pen nib, and I've decided to use the Brow 66 EF. Of course, your tile and um, amount of acrylic paint that is diluted to the consistency of heavy cream so it's easier to write with. So let's get started. Mix your paint well. So this is how the consistency looks like. And then coat the back of your nib. Just going to put this aside. So you can see this up close. So this tile is already quite inclined, so it makes it easier for me to write. So I need to write the name Gareth. There you go.
heavy on the down strokes lighter on the up stroke again more pressure on the down stroke a bit of pulling You need more ink so coat the back of your nib again and sometimes I find that for me it helps if I just dip the tip in the ink Okay, I'm gonna finish off the tea. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's dry. It's really nice because there is a raised quality to this particular ink and it is also quite opaque. So it's a really pretty blue. And if you need to have colours other than white and metallics or black, acrylics or gouache is a good option to use. And it's dry now. Okay, so you can see it is also pretty lovely. So one, you can select the colour. Two, you can see it's pretty glossy. There's a sheen to it. And it's also quite, there's a raised quality, so it's not flat. And there is some texture against the tile. Really nice. In this video, I'm using acrylic paint on tile. But what if you have a different project using a different material? What kind of supply do you use? There are just so many art supplies you can get. But you want to save money by just getting straight to buying only those that work for your projects. So, I curated a roundup of pens and inks for you. I do a review of specific marker and paint pens, those for fabric, inks and paints for food, and so on. I go into specific pens and what projects they are helpful for. Now, it's chock full of useful information and you can get this guide by clicking the link below. I've also worked with pen marker and the liquid gold leaf in previous videos in this series. And if you like tutorials like this, stay updated, do like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Was there a dinner party or a wedding event that you will always remember? What colour theme did they use? Do share in the comments down below. Have fun creating!